What's the difference between offering salawat to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi and offering salam? Salam is to tell him Assalamu Alaikum. Salawat is to ask Allah to give salawat to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How does Allah give salawat to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Mercy. Salawat means mercy. He grants him mercy. The salat on the Prophet, not to the Prophet. We don't pray to him. We pray to Allah. We say, Ya Allah, please offer your salawat and your salam to Rasulullah. What does that mean? On our behalf, have mercy on him and greet him on our behalf. Tell him that your ummah, so and so, that is you, is saying salam to you. That's what it means. It's like I'm going somewhere to Algeria and you know someone in Algeria. Say, please convey my salam to him or her. Then I say, so and so is saying salam. Allah Azza wa Jal will offer salawat to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, meaning give him mercy. Offering salam to him, it means say so and so is sending you greetings. And he replies, but you don't hear him. <coughs> like you don't see your salam reaching him, you don't see his salam reaching you. But it is, it is done. In the unseen world. Alam al ghayb in the unseen world, because he is in Barzakh. We are still in dunya. But there is connection between the three worlds. The world of ruh, when we were just souls. The world of reality. And the world of death. There is connection. There is an ayah where Allah Azza wa Jal says, أَوْ كُلِّمَ بِهِ الْمَوْتَى That's, It's a little bit deep ayah. أَوْ كُلِّمَ بِهِ الْمَوْتَى Come, come, this way. It's very space. Make space, make space for your sister. The Quran, there are researchers now using, uh, using the Quran because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said this Quran, you can really cut with it mountains, you can make holes in it, and you may even speak to the dead with it. How to speak? Not speak and they repeat to you. You may read Quran and offer it to them. It will reach them. The pahala, like your parents. But not just Yasin. Not just Yasin, Yasin, Yasin. You read any surah, say, Ya Rabbi, please give this to my late husband, to my late mother, father, whoever does do it. And sisters, are you ready to, to lose someone very, very dear to you? God forbid. Aren't you think, telling yourself that I may lose my husband or my son or my daughter or my... You know, uh, you better say it because you will not be shocked when it happens. You may turn widow very young. God forbid. So that you will not be shocked when it happens. Because you cannot bring him back anyway or her or that child. You can't. And you lose the ajr. You already lost someone. You want to lose the pahala? You, lo you lose twice. For example, you lose a very loved one person. Husband, mother, father, whoever. Child, like Sister Ira. Is she here? No. So, if we never... We are always ready to lose the elders. But we are not ready to lose. And this is the mistake. Because we think it's normal for those to die. But it's not normal for them to die. The young one. No, you have always to tell yourself. And with that, you appreciate them more and you look after them more. Only when you are afraid to lose something that you really give it value. When you think they're going to live after you, long time, you may even ignore them. So always have that fear. It's a positive fear. There are two types of fear. The positive fear that brings you closer to Allah and make you appreciate your loved ones. Huh. But when life is just good, you, until the thing happens, Allah takes his amana. This is Iman, part of the faith we are learning through Surah Al-Mu'minun. So that's the difference between offering salawat to Rasulullah Sallallahu through Allah, Oh Allah, please give your salawat to Rasulullah. Salat means rahmah. It means rahmah. 
Allah doesn't pray to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah, we pray to him. That's what it means. Salam is greeting. Assalamu Alaikum. Okay, good. What else? Maqam Ibrahim or uh, Rasulullah. Very good. This, okay. In Mecca, please. In Mecca and Medina. When we go to Mecca and Medina. In Mecca, we visit Al-Kaaba. And we do tawaf around the Kaaba. This is why we go to Mecca. It's the house of Allah. Allah said, visit my house. وَأَذْنِ فِي النَّاسِ بِالْحَجِّ يَأْتُوكَ رِجَالًا وَعَلَى كُلِّ ضَامِرٍ يَأْتِينَ مِنْ كُلِّ فَجْنَ حَفِرٍ Amen. لِيَشْهَدُ مَنَا فِي عَلَى And to make dhikr. Of Allah, because this is the first house Allah put for mankind on earth to worship Him, Subhanahu wa Taala. So we go beside the other nusuk, whether it's Umrah or Hajj. Then we go to Medina, or we go to Medina first. In Medina, we are not supposed to visit Rasulullah. It's not wajib. Visiting the grave of Rasulullah Sallallahu is not wajib. What is wajib is visiting Al Masjid Al Nabawi to visit his Masjid. Now, since he is buried near al Masjid al Nabawi, he is not buried inside. The Prophet ﷺ was not buried inside the Masjid. The Masjid was like this house. You see this house nearby? And this is where he is buried. But with the expansion, they cannot touch the grave of Rasulullah. The only grave we cannot remove. If we have any expansion for anything, we can remove the graves. But not the Prophet. ﷺ. So it became part of it. But he was not buried inside. Which is a major sin to bury someone inside the masjid or to build the masjid over a graveyard. Or a grave. Even one person. You cannot. You either remove the grave of that person, of those people, or you, you go somewhere else. So don't think Rasulullah says is buried inside the masjid. He was not buried inside. Actually, that is the border. When he is buried with his two best companions, may Allah be pleased with them, Abu Bakr Siddiq and Umar, radiallahu anhumah, it's the room of Aisha, radiallahu anha. It's her room. Every, every wife of Rasulullah says we had one room. Only one room, one hujra. That's her room. He said, bury me wherever I die. Since he died there, so the Prophet the Sahaba followed his instruction. He was buried right there. He said, bury me wherever I die. Even if he died on the Mount Uhud, they would have buried him right there. So, going there, there is adab. You say, Assalamu alayka ya Rasulullah. That's all. Peace be unto you, O Messenger of Allah. But you don't make dua to him. That's shirk. You make dua to the Qibla. So you give your back to him. And you face the Qibla because the Qibla is the, other, the opposite. Let's say he's buried here and the Qibla is this way. You see people doing like this, and that is not right. That is not right. Wrong. So careful sisters. A lot of people are emotional. When they see, they feel so good, alhamdulillah, but don't ask him. He can't do nothing to you. Nothing. The only one who can do things for us, Al-Qadir, Ala Kulli Shayin Qadir, is His Majesty Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala.